Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Arlene Goodman. I'm a pediatric sports medicine specialist. I'm the director of the concussion program at St. Peter's Sports Medicine Institute. During my uh, concussion evaluation, I do a vestibular ocular motor assessment, uh, assessment of the cervical spine, and balance testing. So I'm going to put this on your forehead. You're going to tell me when these letters become double, so it's going to make a V. Blink. Does it go single or stay double? Uh, it's still double. Okay. Tell me when it gets to be single again. Okay. Does that bother you at all? It hurts my eyes a little bit. Okay. Tell me when that goes away. Now it doesn't, just cool. when I was doing it. Now what I want you to do is cover one eye with your hand. On this one, you're going to tell me when these letters become blurry. Right now. Blink. Does it come back into focus or stay blurry? A little bit, yeah. Tell me when it gets to be blurry. Blurry. Blink. It's still blurry. Still blurry? Okay, yep. good. So for this one, for eye tracking, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to look between my fingers back and forth with your eyes and you're going to tell me when you get symptoms. Okay. Feeling a little dizzy. Okay. All right. So tell me when that goes away. It's it's gone away. It's okay. Gone away Good. Right away. So I'm gonna have you do the same thing, but you're gonna look up and down. Look up and down. Okay. okay. That was worse. That was worse. Okay. Okay. So on this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on my finger. You're gonna turn the head back and forth keeping view of my finger the whole time and tell me when you get symptoms. Okay. What'd you get? A little dizzy. Okay. Just tell me when that passes. It passes. Okay. okay. All right. Last eye one. What you're going to do is you're going to keep your head still. You're just going to follow with just your eyes. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was dizzy. Okay. All right, we're all done with that part. Uh, the next part of the exam is uh, assessing the cervical spine. When uh, they sustain their head injury, they can also uh, have a sprain of their neck. So first thing I want you to do is bring your ear to your shoulder. Hmm. Do the same thing on the other side. Does that hurt at all? No. Good. This time what I want you to do is turn your, like that, good, and the other way. Good. So next thing what I'm going to do is just kind of feel your neck. Let me know if any of this hurts. Okay. So your upper traps are a little bit tight. So what I want you to do is turn your chin, drop it down as if you're smelling your armpit. Bring your arm up. You can actually bring it up like this. And do you feel a stretch right here? Like right here, actually. Right there. All right. So sit up nice and straight. There. Now you feel it that way? Yes. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Okay. What a concussion is, is it's a functional disturbance, not a structural injury. There's a cascade of events that occurs that results in decreased glucose, decreased blood flow. How that plays a part is when you cognitively exert yourself. TV, video games, reading, schoolwork, you need more glucose. The problem with the concussion is you can't make it because of decreased production. You can't bring it because of decreased blood flow. You get symptoms. The reason we don't have you exercise is you have to increase your heart rate, so you need more glucose. But again, you can't because of decreased blood flow. You get symptoms. Also, exercise steals away the glucose your brain needs for healing for your muscles. The third part of the exam is we assess for balance because this can become impaired with a concussion. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to put your feet together. You're going to put your hands on your hips like this, and you're going to close your eyes. Okay, good. All right, next thing I'm going to have you do is which foot do you kick with? Right. Right foot right in front of that left one. You're going to put your hands on your hip, and we're just going to have you stand with your eyes open. So now for this one, I want you to close your eyes and stand right there. Okay, good. Just try again. 
Okay, so for this part of the balance assessment, what I'm gonna have you do is put your arms by your side, and you're just gonna walk one foot in front of the other, like you're walking a line. Good, then I want you to walk the same way, but backwards, one foot behind the other. Good, all right, now I'm gonna have you turn around. What I want you to do is walk backwards again, just like you did, but this time with your eyes closed. Okay, good, all right, we're all done. Thank you for choosing St. Peter's.